This is, without a doubt, the absolute fattest snail that I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh! Hey, buddy. You waking up from all those sedatives that I put in your neck? Good. Now, I just happen to have a little wager with Dr. Bright going, and it so happens that you and me are on the same team. So, I'm going to explain you a few things about that large acidic snail over there from these stolen files, so we can cheat him out of his money and your life. Got it? Good. Item number, SCP-075. Object class, Euclid. Description. SCP-075 resembles a large snail, approximately 2 feet or 60 centimeters in length. Its muscular foot resembles a six-fingered clawed hand. Any um. attempts to use this hand for naughty deeds have resulted in a condition hereby named melted genitalia. SCP-075 is exceptionally heavy, with a mass of approximately 860 kilograms, or 2,000 pounds. Neither it nor scientists have any idea as to why it's this morbidly obese. SCP-075 is capable of moving at incredible speeds for its size and mass. Like many online creators, it displays predatory behavior, lurching forward towards its prey by leaping off of the pads of each of the finger-like muscular extensions and drenching its prey in caustic secretions. In America, I'm pretty sure we call that assault. These secretions are much more corrosive than any substance known to terrestrial science. Some anomalies with an incredibly basic solution in their stomach or a certain level of corrosion resistance, such as yours truly, like to drink it because it gets you trapped. But addiction to this snail juice results in flesh beginning to decay away like crocodile addiction. There is no material with complete resistance to this corrosive substance. And because of the snail's aggressive behavior, no viable methods of harvesting this material while it's active has been found. The only way to stop this snail from his angry murder snot hopping is to desiccate it. Like when you pee all over a banana slug as a kid and then watch it dry up and then you burst into tears and horror as you have just now tasted your first small form of murder. That's it. That's all it does. A big acid hand snail. I don't even know why it's anomalous. This is just really meaty, uncanny valley escargot in my opinion. These guys waste foundation resources containing big hand snail? That's why I think you could beat it, man. Special containment procedures. I could read this to you, but it sums up to a dry room and a corrosion resistant box inside of a corrosion resistant box. This doesn't really matter to you because you have to fight it not trap it. Okay, so here's the deal, kid. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I have to be on a plane to Vegas in a few hours. Me and Bright just wanted to get the trip started a bit early, and I'm not gonna have much time to record this. So, kill the big snail, or I'm out three grand in flesh coins, and I'll feed your soul to my son slash friend slash weird dog. Ready? Go! <laughs> Best two out of three? All right. But I get to pick the D class this time. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, and watch all my other crap, or I'll put you in a snail room and play a game of chance with your life with this person who claims to be a medical professional. Shout out to the inner circle. Love y'all. I'm sorry this is short. I'm actually in Las Vegas. Okay, bye.